as a Muslim, as a believer, our role in this life is to command good, spread goodness, and stop and inhibit the spread of evil. This is our job, this is our role. And everybody can do this. If you are a father, you have the capacity to spread goodness in your house. And you have the capacity to stop evil from spreading in your house. In one of the hadith, the Prophet Sallallahu explained regarding men of the house, that you are shepherds and your family, your children, your wife, these are your flock. And every shepherd will be questioned about his flock on Yawm Al Qiyamah. And ask yourselves, if a wolf was to devour, he was to eat sheep, whose fault is it? Is it the fault of the sheep? No, it's the fault of the shepherd and he would be liable. Somewhere down the line, he did something wrong. And he put his flock in harm's way and the fox capitalized and he devoured the sheep. So the shepherd is responsible, not the sheep. And in the same way, if there's fitna and fasad, and you are aiding and abetting it in your house, you're liable for this. As the men of the home, this is your responsibility. Your children are your responsibility. The greatest and biggest investment that you can make in this life are your children. By educating them, by teaching them good morals, teaching them good etiquettes, teaching them adab, teaching them very simple things about Islam, which they can incorporate into their daily lives. This is your responsibility and this is my responsibility as fathers, as the head of the home. So always bear this in mind. If a child is outside on the streets, that responsibility falls on the parents. And we need to rein those children in. And never think it's a lost cause. You never lose hope in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's always hope. Always bear this in mind. It's not befitting for a Muslim to lose hope in the mercy of Allah. Never give up on your children. They are the future. Never ever give up on them.